Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do my pantry tour. I know I've been like sneak peeking this for a while and it's been highly requested. So that's what I'm going to do today. Take you through everything in my pantry. You guys can see my staples and all the stuff I kind of just keep on hand. I made an almond milk unsweetened latte. It's delicious. So let's go ahead and jump into my pantry. So at first glance, this is just an overview of my pantry. As you guys can see, it's quite full, but this is not even everything. I have like other bins and baskets that carry stuff I don't use all the time or extras, things like that. Um, so this is just kind of the general overview of it. So starting here, this is kind of where I keep my baking essentials. I have some black jet molasses, vanilla, lemon, um, dairy-free chocolate chips, and then a few different sugars. So I have coconut sugar, which is like my most used sugar, and then a powdered sugar that I haven't used in a while, but I have from a recipe a while ago, and then some brown sugar again. That I don't use those too often, I use more of the coconut sugar. I have some coconut back there, and then here I keep my sweeteners. So I'll move this for now. So here is just some natural honey. Uh, this one's from Costco. It's a really good, like, affordable brand. I have this raw honey from Beekeeper Naturals. I use this when I'm making raw recipes because it hasn't been heated, so all the benefits are still there. Manuka honey, which is really good for when you're sick. Um, then I have this passion fruit date chocolate spread from Fourth and Heart. I haven't tried this yet. I have this Beekeeper's Natural Cacao Superfood Honey that I use in the chocolate truffle recipe, which if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna leave that down in the description box below, but it's super yummy. I really like Beekeeper's Natural like as a brand. I find, I don't know, they're really good quality products. Then I have some powdered almond butter. I use this more if I wanna like use more nuts in a recipe, but not necessarily add too much fats, even though I'm not afraid of fats, but more like almost like a protein powder, but just like ground almonds as a protein powder. Back here, I have the PB and Me peanuts and then a canister of oats. Again, I don't use that too much because you guys know I make pa mainly paleo recipes. Some pecans, which I'm almost out of. I should refill that because I have more below. Um, cheese seeds that I use all the time. And then in this canister, I refill this with almond flour that I get at Costco or at Amazon. But I keep that there. All right, underneath this shelf, I have some packets of new pasta. You guys know I love this. You've seen me use it in so many videos. It's made from konjac root. The fettuccine one is my favorite, and then probably angel hair is my second favorite. Even though like, they're different shapes, I don't know. I'm picky about my shapes. Then I have a few of teas that I don't use too often, but I like to keep like within arm's reach. Forever Nuts from David's Tea. It turns your tea pink, and it's one of my favorite teas. I'm not a huge tea person, so for me to like it, it's a big deal. Uh, a sweet almond green tea, and then in the back, an Egyptian chamomile. So just kind of simple teas. Here's kind of like a bin of more like tea and like products like that. So I just have this moon dust box, which has all the sachets in it. Sweet dreams, which is really good for sleep. A chaga tea, and then like a white tea. Again, I don't use these teas too often, but having them on hand. Up here, I have my bin of flowers that I use for all my different videos and my baking. And I just, a lot of them, as you guys can see, it's like Bob's Red Mill. That's probably my favorite brand. So we have a chickpea flour, their paleo flour. This is just a gluten-free flour by Bob's Red Mill. So if you're looking for a good one, like both the paleo one and the gluten-free one are like blends and they make them really well. So if you don't want to buy all the separate different flours, like the potato and the tapioca and the arrowroot, they make really great blends. So I would highly recommend checking those out. Cassava flour, which I love using for my gnocchi. Baking powder, coconut flour, another one of my staples. Xanthan gum down there and more gluten-free flour. As you guys can see, I have lots of little flours, but I really like these two blends if you're looking for a blend. Moving on to over here, this is kind of like more pasta and miscellaneous. I have baking soda for baking. Um, and then it's the fourth and heart uh, grass-fed ghee butter, which is in the garlic flavor, which I really like. This truffle, which it's not a truffle sauce. It's not, I think it's just truffles in oil, but I got it in Italy. I haven't used it yet, but I got this also in Italy, which is like uh, a risotto rice. So I plan on making that like sometime when it gets cool. Here, I'll move these. All right, here I just have some extra loose teas that like 
teas don't really go bad, so I save them because I don't want to throw them away, but I don't really use them too often. I have some gluten-free pastas. This is just spaghetti. This is really cool. These are gluten-free lasagna sheets. Um, haven't used them yet, but like it's really cool to find. More gluten-free, some spirulina pasta. And then this is a sauce I really like. Um, there's no, you can see all the ingredients. There's no canola oil, which is really good. A lot of sauces either use canola oil or they add sugar. So this one's really good. This cauliflower and lentil pasta. That way there's a lot of protein in the pasta. This one I think is 20, 14 grams um, per serving, which is nice. Some brown rice. Um, again, I haven't used this in a while, but I just have it on hand. These are both seaweed, like nori sheets. You guys have seen me use them in videos. And then some crisp breads, as well as some just like rice paper sheets to make like summer rolls. In this basket, I have extra supplements, so I'll bring that down. Okay, we're gonna balance this on my knee. So I just have some extra theanine, blood builder, digestive ones. The, a lot of these ones I are like for getting sick. So there's oil of oregano, there's the throw spray from Beekeeper Naturals, and then I keep my, my um, homeopathic medicines in here as well. Oh, and then some extra ear tacks. You guys have seen me talk about ear tacks. Moving on to this second shelf here. In this bin, well, first of all, back here, I just have the Simple Mills pizza dough mix, which is like my favorite. If you're gonna make like pizza dough, I like that one because it's made with almond flour and it's really clean ingredients. Here are like my pancake mixes and my granolas. So I have my Purely Elizabeth, which is my favorite. They're grain-free coconut cashew. It's like my ride or die granola. Um, the Bob's Red Mill Paleo Pancake Mix, which is one of my favorites, like top two with another one I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, some matcha latte superfood coconut chips. Those are good for like topping smoothie bowls and things like that. Birch Benders Paleo Mix, which is my second favorite. So these two are my two favorite pancake mixes if I'm not making them from scratch. They're both paleo and they're both all super yummy. There's this clean eating um, grain free breakfast cereal. It's not more of a granola, I would say it's more of a, a breakfast cereal, but it's yummy. Some bee pollen, this is raw bee pollen. B pollen's rich in amino acids, especially if you have allergies, it's good. Some buckwheat, I like to put this in my chia pudding. These hemp heart toppers with coconut and cocoa, it's not like sugar or anything, it's a like cacao dusted um, hemp hearts. These banana crisps from Nude Foods, just look at a nice chai banana crisp cracker basically, um, if you want like a little sweet, something crunchy. And then some um, local granola from a place here near Toronto. And then on the other end, I have some Simple Mills crackers. These are my favorite crackers. Some crisp breads from Trader Joe's. I love these because the net carbs are really good on them. Some kale chips back here that I like to kind of sprinkle on top of salads or on top of things. Some pecans, which I should fill that other thing with. Then here I have like some nuts and seeds. So I have organic walnut halves, sunflower seeds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, mixed nuts, and then sliced almonds. So I kind of just keep my nuts and then my crackers and crisp breads there. Below that, this is kind of like my bar bin. So I have like Lara bars in here and then protein powders and the Purely Elizabeth's granolas to take on the go in the back. Some extra natural calm if I'm traveling. This is just like a gift um, and some little like travel collagen packs and some of like the, the moon dust, dream dust, little basically travel things I keep in here um, and things to take on the go. This is kind of like the sweet treat bin. So I have the Hue Cashew Butter Chocolate, which is the best chocolate ever. Like my favorite chocolate bar by far. Then I have some Smart Sweets. I love these. The sour ones are really, really good only because like I'm a sour person. Um, but also their normal ones are very good. And there's only three grams of sugar per bag and there's 20 grams of fiber. So if you look, so you'll focus, 33 grams of carbs minus 28 and then you get your net carbs and only three grams of sugar. So, and they taste just like candy. Um, these Yum Earth organic sour beans, I got these in Target like near Easter, just haven't eaten them. Um, this is chocolate covered quinoa. Then I have some cold brew coffee chocolate and this Alter Ego one. This is the one um, I eat, like this one I try to save, the Hue one, because it's like harder to find and like $9 a bar to get it in Canada. And so Alter Ego is like my other one, like Blackout. Just a plain dark chocolate. And then back here are just some energy goos, um, like for when my fiance is like, tra not traveling, but like biking and stuff like that. 
And then on this end, I have my tees. So I'll do this row and then I'll go back. So this is my favorite like general matcha. It's the Apoto one, it's delicious. And then I have the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Matcha with lion's mane and ginger, which is also really yummy. Um, they're just kind of like different, so it depends what I'm going for, if I want that extra boost or whether I just want a very good basic matcha. I have this uh, Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee, and then I have a bunch of Lee's teas. This mint tea is like one of the best mint teas ever, so if you're looking for a really good mint tea, I would check this one out. A pink chai, which is really yummy. Um, it's caffeine-free too, so to find a chai that's caffeine-free is hard. And then I haven't opened this one yet, but it is just a turmeric and ginger one. And I have a citrus holy basil tea, which is really good for stress. Um, like a Telsey tea, holy basil is good for your adrenals and it's good for lowering that stress response. All right, so moving behind, this is the Sage Sleep Well Tea, another sleepy tea, which is really good. And then back here, this is the Super Slim Tea. It basically helps you go. Peppermint tea, this is just like plain peppermint. Ah, just bagged tea, really good. Um, there's a blue detox tea from Kusmi, Mother's Little Helper, which is again, basically a sleep tea. I have a skin detox tea, which is good for your skin. And then um, this dandelion mocha mint tea, which is like a chicory root tea. Now, it doesn't taste like coffee. Like it's meant to be a coffee substitute, but it really does not taste like coffee. So I have this when, not when I want something like coffee, because then I'll just have decaf, but when I want something that tastes like dandelion or chicory root, if that makes sense. And then back here, I have the glazed lemon loaf tea, which is actually really good. I discovered that when I went to Target in the States um, a few months ago, and it was really good. It tastes just like their lemon loaf, and there's no sugar or anything added to it. Okay, this is the fun area. It's one of my, like, where I keep my vitamins and the things I take more regularly. Now, I don't take all of these every single day, it depends on how I'm feeling or sometimes depending on the supplement, what part of my cycle I'm in. So I'll start with this drawer. This is just my, my Four Sigmatic drawer. You guys know I've loved Four Sigmatic for so many years. I think this is almost one of, I don't have their new ones. They're like their new matcha or their new chai or their new golden milk drink. Um, so these are kind of like the more originals. So I have all the different mushrooms, two cacao mixes, the mocha, the adaptogen, and then their other two coffee mixes. So these ones don't have coffee. These ones have coffee. And then the cacao ones obviously don't have coffee, but they're really yummy, especially the chill out one before bed. This is kind of where I keep all of those. Back here, I can go over like what each vitamin is for, but I have flax, turmeric, then I have some ashwagandha, some moringa. Um, even though this is called success, basically I like it because of the Chinese herb that's in it, which is hu shu wu. Maybe, don't think it's gonna focus. Um, which increases vitality, so that's why I like it. Evening Primrose, NAC, good antioxidant, adrenal support, Bacopa for studying, Vitex or Chaseberry, good for hormones, B-complex, and then my Chlorophyll. All right, so then this is just a multi B6, um, MTFF, because I don't methylate well, so this helps that process. Uh, daily Cleanse from Hum, which is really good, and then Red Harp Carpet, Glowing Skin, Shiny Hair, again. I don't take all of these every day. Sometimes I get lazy with like this one um, and depends on like the cycle, but these are just the ones that I keep on a every day or almost every day basis. Oh, I didn't show you these. This is the adaptogen I've been using lately. It's from Restorative Formulations and it's my absolute favorite. Like it's really, really good. I've noticed a difference even in a couple days with taking it and sometimes you need like a month to notice a difference with an adaptogen. And these are just the uh, digestive enzymes that I keep on hand for you know, helping to digest Food. All right, and this is my second drawer of more like on hand uh, vitamins. So this is just deep immune. People around me are getting sick, so I'm trying to remember to take that because everyone around me at clinic has been sick. L tyrosine, uh, this just helps clear estrogen, like excess estrogen. Um, probiotic, lavender sap, which I use for sleep like every night. Neem, which I use for skin. Charcoal, which I use for like gas and bloating. Um, digestion and IBS, and omega, this is just DGL, which is good for before you eat, and rhodiola, which is good for energy. But like I said, uh, I've been loving this one lately. And so there's two more shelves, but this one I kind of just use for storing like my juicer, my pans, um, extra kitchen stuff, and then like bowls. And so that's not really like food related. Um, so then this is an overview of 
in this shelf. My toaster there, and this is where I keep like salty snacks. So this one right now are just the Terra's chips. Um, I like them because they're just really clean. And there's a mix of sweet potato, parsnip, yucca, and all that. This kind of bin is just where I keep my blender accessories, which this blender is my favorite. I, you guys have gone out and bought it and loved it. I will link it down below. It's the Ninja Master Prep, so it's a lot more affordable than like their normal Ninja blenders, but it's really good. It'll blend bananas, for example, frozen bananas, without any milk added into nice creamy ice cream. So that's how you know it's powerful. So down here is where I have more of like my, my powder supplements that I use for smoothies or things like that. I have the collagen peptides on the go, like the little convenient sticks. I basically grab one of these every day before clinic and I put it in my bag to add to coffee or a, a chia pudding or something like that. Then these are just the marine ones, which I haven't started yet because I'm gonna finish these. The matcha collagen, which I really like. It's super convenient. So you just take this and then I mix it with hot water at clinic and I have matcha with collagen. So you don't have to carry around a bunch of things and you have like an instant matcha and a convenient little thing. It's also good for traveling. Then I have the Vital Proteins Collagen Creamer. This is really good if you like go out and you get a coffee at like a Starbucks or something. You can put this in it and then it gets creamy. It's got 10 grams of protein. You've got your collagen, so it's really good. Then here I have um, some tubs of collagen peptides that I use basically every day. An L-glutamine powder, which basically helps to heal and seal your gut. Take this on an empty stomach and it's great for leaky gut. A couple of the collagen beauty waters, so the strawberry lemon and then the lavender lemon. My favorite is the lavender lemon, um, just because I like the floral notes. But they have probiotics and hyaluronic acid in them, so they're really good to just make water more fun and get all the benefits. Some gelatin, which I will use in recipes and smoothies. Um, some vegan greens, which I'll put into smoothies just to maximize my greens. And then this is the gingerbread collagen creamer, which is really yummy and really festive. Oh, and then down there, it's just a superfood. It's kind of similar to the greens, but more berry. This is raw cacao that I use in recipes, but I also like to add this into smoothies. Because it's raw, you get all the antioxidants and all the benefits. Some marine collagen just in scoop form, the Vital Proteins Blackberry, and then the Vital Proteins Beauty Water in Cucumber Aloe. As you guys can see, big, big fan of Vital Proteins. And then this is the protein, one of the protein powders I use lately, and it's the fermented vegan one from Genuine Health. I like this one because it doesn't bloat you because it's fermented first. So because it's fermented, you're not gonna get bloated and you're gonna get more nutrient absorption because it's fermented. So I get the vanilla one. Giant thing of brain octane by Bulletproof. I use this every single day in my coffee. It's a game changer. I like the brain octane versus other MCT oils on like a daily basis because of the carbon content of the brain octane XCT. So it's got a higher carbon content that will go into your brain faster than like your normal XTC or MCT. So it's basically more powerful. Natural Calm, I take this every night before bed. It's just magnesium. Magnesium is a natural muscle relaxant, so it helps you sleep. Um, this is just Blue Magic. It's basically a spirulina, but in blue form. Um, and it makes things turn blue, so it's really good for you, but it's also fun for recipes. The Four Sigmatic Decaf Mushroom Mix, when I want like this type of benefit, but I don't want the caffeine. This is Scratch, which is basically a um, electrolyte mix that's really clean. I have the Nutiva MCT Oil. I like adding this to either salad dressings, or if I'm putting it in a smoothie, or if I'm just thinning out a nut butter to put on top of a recipe, um, that's really good. I have the Bulletproof Upgraded Collagen. Live Well, this is another one of my favorite protein brands that tastes really good. This is the raw cacao one, but I really, really like the vanilla one. Concentrase Mineral Drops, you guys have seen me talk about this before. Natural Electrolytes, basically it has all the trace ones, so um, Pro Spin or something like that. This is really good, if you need like a light hydration, if you are like super, you've been sweating a lot, this is more intense. This is good on like a daily basis. Some maca, some spirulina, and then some packets of bone broth. I've been sticking this in my clinic bag as well. And you basically just mix it with water and you have like, it's gonna focus, yummy bone broth. So I really like things that are convenient like this that I can take on the go, traveling and to clinic that allows me to like stay healthy and get all like the benefits. And then I have this, the Siberian ginseng. They're kind of like little shots. I'll show you in another vlog, but um, they're basically just little shots that you sip with royal jelly um, daily. 
I have the Ghee um, Fourth and Heart Vanilla Madagascar, which tastes amazing with this to make bulletproof drops. If you haven't heard of my bulletproof drops, I will leave that in the description box, but basically you make them ahead and you drop them into your coffee and it's super easy in the morning. This Fiber Smart, which I like to add to smoothies to add fiber, it's a blend of a bunch of different things and it's really good for you. Again, fiber is key. You guys have heard me rant about fiber. And then I have a couple golden milks. So I have the Botanica golden milk and then the Yarrow golden tea. So they're both really good. They're both the black pepper, pretty much the same. So that is my pantry, guys. I hope you guys like this, found some inspiration, and enjoyed seeing what I keep in my pantry. If you guys think that I missed anything that I should be keeping in my pantry, definitely let me know in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was in my pantry, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.